Addiction's a terrible thing. <laughs> Well, I'm not going to kid you. This is the uh, end of the video, and it didn't work. Can't tell you. I mean, um, I'm actually going to beat this. This is the beginning of the video, but it's going to, yeah, it's the end. Anyway, it's after the fact. It's after it didn't work. How about that? Anyway, this is, I tried to take some copper pipe, just stuff I had laying around that I had pulled out of walls and, and stuff. Um, and, and I flat, I cut it up in small pieces and flattened it out and stuck it in my crucible and, and heat it up. So um, this is what happened. It didn't, it didn't melt. It got hot, got really hot. It got red hot, um, got orange hot or almost orange. It was like a reddish orange, orangish red color, which I don't think is quite hot enough. Um, I tried a couple things with trying to shut down the, the vent on the top so I'd get more heat inside the crucible. Didn't work. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping what's going to happen here is somebody can watch this and say, oh, you dummy, here's what you need to do. Or, oh, you dummy, you'll never accomplish that. Or <laughs> whatever it is, all right? So um, take a look, and uh, this is me trying to melt copper in my home foundry. Well, I wasn't sure I was gonna actually um, record this. I decided to go ahead. This is addicting, man, this melting metal. <laughs> I can't move, I'm into it. Anyway, what I'm doing now is actually just melting stuff like this. It's just old plumbing pieces. Um, they have solder on them, uh, flux. They get, they're filthy, they're stuff. And I just, I just cut them up into smaller pieces and um, went ahead and flattened them down. I'll take a picture of it in here. But I wanted to show you real quick uh, the color of the flame coming out of here. I think it should be expected. It's copper, it's green flame. Anyway, it's pretty cool. I'll take a picture uh, down inside the uh, down inside the furnace here. You can see what the pieces look like. Um, and I'm going to time this too. I started this at 5:27 this evening, and we'll just keep an eye on the time and see how long it takes to melt. If I can actually get it to melt, I uh, I don't know. I'm going to put some numbers up here. Um, I'll just have to go look them up because I don't want to make them up. Okay, here is. Um, that's what it looks like inside. That's the, this basically just copper pipe that I smashed together, folded over, smashed it up, uh, just to get it to fit down inside the crucible. I went and looked it up, and I'll I'll put them up here on the corner of the screen. But uh, here's some important temperatures: aluminum melts around 1,200 degrees, um, brass around 1,700 degrees, and this is all Fahrenheit. Uh, copper is around 1981, almost 2,000 degrees for copper. But the important thing to notice here is that I think is that the propane torch actually is burning around 3600 degrees uh, in Fahrenheit. So I should be a good 1600 degrees hotter with my torch than copper melt. So I'm hoping I can melt copper in here. I'm hoping that the insulation factor that um, uh, I think I have is, <laughs> is what it is. And we're just going to keep heating until we see what happens. Um, at this point, I am... 13 minutes in, it's now 5.40, and all I see is glowing red. I don't see anything melting at this point. So we'll just keep letting it burn until I either run out of propane or I get a pot of uh, melted copper. All right, it's 5.49 now, so we're like 22 minutes in. Um, I went ahead and decided to lay a couple of fire bricks over the top just to maybe improve the insulation. I don't know how much heat was coming out of the top there, but uh, we'll go ahead and put these up there and just see if we can't uh, get things to happen a little bit quicker here. I'm hoping that if it's going to happen, it's going to happen soon. We'll see. I'll have to get a pair of gloves to move those around so we can look in there. Okay, we are like at 554, which would make us 27 minutes in. I just moved the fire bricks out of the way. Um, I am still just, I mean, it's red in there or, or orange. I don't know how hot that is temperature wise, but um, I still see lots of pipe in its original, <laughs> its original configuration. I'm gonna, because I am incredibly impatient, I just wanna see if it's getting softer. And it, 
Oops, don't fall over in there. It's not. It still feels pretty stiff, pretty hard. Go ahead, check it again. Oh, 603, that looks just, I think, uh, let's see, 20, 30, 26 minutes in. No, is that right? How about 36 minutes in? Um, and you can see the copper pipe is still copper pipe. It's, it's a dark, I, the camera shows it as kind of a yellow orange. It's really a dark orange uh, color inside there, at least for my eye. So it may not be quite hot enough. I'm trying to look online to see what that means. I think it means probably less than 2,000 degrees or somewhere around 2,000, which is pretty darn close to the copper melting point, but I don't seem to be, I don't seem to be melting. I may, uh, I may call this and uh, put it up there and just see what you guys think. So let's, uh, I may do that. Well, there you have it. Uh, it didn't work. Maybe it would have worked if I had been more patient, but I was, you know, over 30 minutes into it, and um, it didn't appear like it was doing anything. I mean, those things are still stiff in there. I pushed down on them a little bit with a tamper, and I didn't feel any softness in the metal. So I'm letting it cool now. I, If there's something interesting in an hour or two or whatever, when I have to look at it, I may show you that, but no, no bueno, man. No bueno. But have a great day anyway. <laughs> hey, as always, thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, go ahead and click the thumbs up button down below. It really does help. If you'd like to be notified when we publish new content, go ahead and click my channel icon to subscribe. And finally, while you're here, take some time to check out some of our other videos. Have a great day and get out there and do something new today.